Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Andrea and I am a fashion reseller on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. And basically, I love teaching you how to sell other people's junk and make money. So today, um, I have a follow-up video for the $50 um, haul challenge that um, Becky Parks YouTube group did. Um, which I am a part of with a lot of wonderful individuals. And um, basically, we did this video so we could see what stuff we thrift and what also has a fast turnaround in 30 days. Now, you guys are going to have to bear with me today. Um, I recently have had lots of surgery on my teeth and my jaw and my mouth and um having some complications so to save me some talking i am going to replay the footage um from the first video and tell you what things actually sold as it goes through um and then i will tell you what items sold that i actually listed myself on poshmark um, I don't think I cross-listed most of these items to eBay. I do sell on eBay, but not as much as Poshmark. And there are certain items I always cross-post because they do better. And some of them, I just keep them on Poshmark because I know that's where they're going to make the most money. Um, so, I am going to scoot over a little bit. and go through the items that I listed and what they sold for. Um, the first two items I sold actually sold in the same bundle. Um, the first one is an Abercrombie and Fitch graphic t-shirt um, with a tiger picture on it. And you know, Tiger King just came out with season two. So it was the perfect graphic to have on a shirt. Um, it sold in a group, so the listed price down at the bottom, you know how Poshmark is, it's not going to be quite accurate. So um, basically when I divided up the cost between the items, I'm going to say that it sold for around $17. Um, then the second item that sold um, was Champion Cloud Dye um, Little Jogger Shorts. Um, they also will be sold for $17 when I divided that out. It sold in the same bundle to the same person as the Abercrombie shirt. Um, the next order is a Vineyard Vines shirt. This actually sold twice. It sold the first time and was canceled, um, like halfway through the selling process, um, because... The person that bought it didn't understand how Poshmark worked. They didn't know that putting an offer in is actually an immediate buy. And they had to message just Poshmark. And Poshmark caught me right before I shipped it out. But then on Black Friday, which I am going to do a video about Black Friday later on this week if I am feeling well. Um, I sold quite a few of these items. I sold the Vineyard Vines Long Sleeve again for um, $10 um, and um, I sold the L.L. Bean teal zip up fleece for $12 and I sold this loft floral tank for, um, it was also a bundle, so I just divided the cost of the bundle, um, and this ended up being twelve fifty. Okay, this first item was a Maurice's 3X hoodie. I thought that they would take that, um, at the consignment store because it was plus size, and it kind of had a holiday theme, and it was from 2019, but they did not take that item. Um, this is a Time and True um, 
kimono type thing, um, like an open long cardigan. Um, they did take that item. Okay, this is a Chelsea and Theodore, um, like, jean chambray dress. Um, they did take that dress. I was really surprised they did not take this Hoosier, um, graphic tee, um, I guess because it's not quite basketball season yet. They also did not take this Cubs stuff, um, which I thought that they would take that, but they did not. They didn't take this Good Vibes um, tank either, probably because it's a season. They did take this really fuzzy um, Wild Fable sweater. They did take this orange sweater um, that was from Target. And they took this sunflower um, tank top that had no brand. They didn't take this um, Forever 21 graphic tank top. And it's probably because it was seasonal. And it's also plus size. And they informed me that they're taking less and less plus size. Okay, these are a little pair of H&M joggers for girls. These were purchased by um, Once Upon a Child, which was the first kids consignment store I went to. This bathing suit I decided not to take to consignment and decided to hold on to until the summer sales. This Toy Story graphic tee was purchased by the second consignment store that I went to. This was a little bit of an older Justice item, so I was surprised. But Once Upon a Child did purchase this sweatshirt, and it is fun for the holidays. This was a Justice tank top. I decided to hold on to that until the summer months. This Dino Graphic um, t-shirt was purchased by Kid to Kid, which was the second consignment store I went to. This mermaid tank top I decided to hold on to till summer. These shorts I decided to hold on till summer. This Jamboree dress um, was purchased by Kid to Kid. It was adorable. It didn't fit Lily. So I decided to sell it. This little baby onesie wasn't purchased by either consignment store. It's a summer item. This long sleeve Christmas graphic tee was purchased by Kid to Kid. These shorts were purchased by Once Upon a Child. These Old Navy shorts were not purchased by either consignment store, probably because it's a summer item again. This graphic tee was not purchased by either store. I was surprised because it was made in 2019. These camo leggings from Old Navy were purchased by Once Upon a Child. This Justice graphic hoodie was purchased by Kid to Kid. This Dino Sleeper was purchased by Kid to Kid. This Justice Star Knit like Poncho wasn't purchased by either consignment store, which I was surprised. This Power Rangers sweatshirt was purchased by Kid to Kid. 
This little baby onesie was purchased by Once Upon a Child. Okay, this fun scarf wasn't purchased by either consignment store, which I was really surprised considering it was a 2020 item. Okay, so if you add the um, money that I made at the first kids consignment store, which was 1960, um, and I made six dollars at the second kids consignment store, um, the adult consignment store I made fifteen dollars and seventy five cents. Um, plus, if you add all the items that I sold in the last 30 days myself, um, my total amount of sales was $93.51. If you subtract the $50, um, then you get $43.51. If you do it the other way, because I do have like quite a bit of pieces still left to sell, including that Patricia Nash bag, um, an Urban Outfitters hoodie, two free people items. None of that sold for me in the first 30 days, which I was super surprised. Um, but anyway, if you take just the cost of goods out for the items that did sell and not the items that were, that I still have left, um, by weight, all those items only cost me $13.25, making me have a profit of $80.26 if you look at it this way. Um, but like I said, if you look at it the other way with the total amount spent, um, if I take the $93.51 minus $50, I have made a $43.51 profit. Um, so basically that is where I at, am at. Um, I'm probably a little bit lower than what I normally would be at because I did mention I had surgery and wasn't too active during some of these times, um, to actually get the sales that I probably would have. Um, and four of the items that I sold on Poshmark were actually part of my Black Friday sale. So they got 50% off which that is okay. Um, and that is my update for the 30 days. And, um, I know I'm probably not going to win, but that's cool. Um, and I did scramble to put this video together because I have went through a lot the past couple weeks with these, um, mouth and dental surgeries. So, um, hopefully these other items can even make more of a profit and maybe I will do an update on that later. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching and you guys got to follow the thread and check out all the videos down below because there were some awesome finds and I'm excited to see how much money people made in just 30 days. Thanks for watching.